So welcome everybody to the UPA Live. We're going to be talking about the monthly image competition. So on the panel today, we have Amanda Pitts and Stephen Bridges. And then Jay, I, I never know how to pronounce your last name. Is it Farsho? Farshad? I went to a fair to see a show. Fair show. Ah, fair show. All right. I went to a fair to see a show. I will remember <laughs> that moving forward. And uh, hopefully everybody else that watches this will learn from my uh, my mishap. And then Nick Romanenko also. So welcome, everybody. And uh, let's dive right in. Uh, one of the things that we talked about was just to kind of get a brief history of how the monthly image competition started and then potentially going over uh, a little bit of rules and stuff. So I don't know if... Uh, if Jay, you want to take over, or Nick, if you, one of you guys want to, or I'll both. let Jay talk uh, about that history. Just, just give just, us a brief you know, history of the monthly image competition, why it started, and where it's come. Oh, okay. Well, back uh, it started in two thousand four. Uh, back before that, we had a slide competition where you had to mail your slides to somebody, and then somebody from Kodak or somebody would judge them. So now, uh, now uh, back. In 2004, we had a member, Thomas Shea, who worked at, at the University of Houston. And with uh, what was a sports shooter, uh, he suggested that maybe we could do something like that and have a monthly image competition. So Chris Hughes at the University of Waterloo took hold of that and got his computer fellow to open up a contest module. And that's where it started um, 18 years ago. That's hard to believe. Um, he and I served as the chairman since then until he retired a few years later. And uh, after three moves, um, the UPA website competition module has been tweaked, twerked, and shaken to its awesomeness that you see today. So uh, <laughs> anyway, but uh, the monthly image competition uh, takes place during our academic year. Um, hopefully we got some new members out here that are listening to this. Uh, the images you enter each month are, so for instance, you enter November 1st. So all the images you took from October 1st to October 31st are eligible for the competition, except for this upcoming one that starts September 1st. All the pictures you took from June 1st to August 31st are eligible since we have no competitions during that time period. Um, all this is on our website. You can click on competitions, read, read all the rules and everything, but uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll bring up some of those today. But uh, the, the categories are the same as the print competition. Um, and I'm sure there'll be some questions about that too. And uh, we vote. Uh, on a seven seven point scale with seven being the highest rating. So um, if anybody ever has any questions during this, please ask. Yeah, thank you. I, I love, uh, it would have been really interesting to be part of the monthly image competition when it started, because I'm still kind of a new guy to UPAA. I think this is my sixth year. You're not new to this. Years. Don't, don't, that, that's, I'm not going to buy that. <laughs> To, well, to the organization. So this is my seventh year, I think, part of UPA. Yeah. And uh, I guess that's a little while, but, you know, not, not compared to some for sure. Um, so it's really cool for me to at least see the result of where it is now, um, not really seeing where it came from. So, uh, Jay, thanks for that little explanation of, of where it originated and why I seriously love the monthly image competition. And I'm excited that we can kind of talk about it, work through some questions, kind of share, I don't know, thoughts and processes of why and how, and that's kind of where Amanda and Steven come in um, with their great work. And so they're going to share some thoughts with us. So, uh, and if you guys have questions, go ahead to put them in the chat and I'll kind of moderate those questions. And we'll go from there. So Amanda, Stephen, uh, kind of let's start out. Why do you guys enter? So what are your thoughts? Like, what value does it give? Why do you guys enter the competition? 
You want to go ahead or you want me to go ahead? I'll let you go ahead, Amanda. Okay. Um, so I'm the work, I'm probably not the best person to talk about this because I don't always enter, um, but I do enter um, more than I used to. And I think that there's, there's a lot of value in it for multiple reasons. Um, you get feedback on images and kind of see where your images are, are ranking within the mix of all of our talented folks who enter. Um, and it helps to inform like what others think is successful work. Um, and also like if, if you or your team or your university wins awards, it just helps to elevate um, and validate us and our professions. Um, and here, I mean, it, it's led to people reaching out to us when they've heard that we've won things and uh, can lead to new stories and people get a better idea of what we like to cover and what's good to cover. So there's just a lot of different ways that it is beneficial um, to us individually and you know as as a whole university. So Amanda, I have a question, a follow-up question to that. You mm -hmm. said that you're entering now more than you used to before. Like what yes. changed? What changed and why? So I think things were just a little, I think I had like a low period there for a while where I was like, eh, I don't know that any of this is, you know, worth entering. Um, and it was really busy. We were going through some changes. Um, and so I just didn't feel like anything was worth entering or I don't know. And then once um, Kendra came and Valerie, when Valerie was here, they were both really excited about entering. Um, and I used to be excited about entering, but they kind of like brought me back into it. You know, they're like, you need to enter, you need to enter this. They'd see like something that I shot and they'd be like, that's, you know, that's for the Mick. And, um, and so that was really good. So I think collaboration is, is exciting, um, in that way. And so when we would have time, we would like share images we thought that, um, might be good for the Mick. And then we'd you know, kind of critique each other's work a little bit and say, um, oh, these are the ones that I think are good. Or, or we'd say like, do you like this one better or this one and, and why? So that was really, it, I mean, that's a benefit as, as well, it kind of brings your team together if you have, you know, multiple photographers. Um, and it's just, it's just more fun that way, I guess. And, and then, you know, once you are entering, um, it just, I don't know, it inspires you to do, to do better work, especially if you're expected to enter then. And we all expected each other to enter, um, if that makes sense. So. No, I like that. I like how you guys kind of had this little community where one that you said you guys were expecting each other to enter. And then two, where you got together and you gave each other feedback. Uh, I think, I think that's vital. I remember when I first came over to BYU um, when I, when I left UVU and came over, uh, me and Jay drowns, so we'd go to lunch together every single month and we'd bring our laptops and we'd go through our images. And that's something that I miss and something that I, I think I'll start reaching out to Jay again to do. Um, but we do that here in our office as well. You know, I'll bring all of the students in, um, whether it's one at a time and Jaron and just be like, Hey, give me your thoughts. Uh, because for me, I feel like I get really emotionally attached to some images and I know you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah. Some people get really emotionally attached to some images and, uh, they're not always necessarily the best, but because we're, we're attached to the process, we're attached to some specific part of it, or maybe the context in which the photo was taken, but somebody who just sees that image, you know, with no context it doesn't make sense to them as much. So maybe, yeah, that is your star quarterback and that's why this image is cool. But if nobody else knows that's your star quarterback, like it may not be as great of a photo as you think it is. Uh, anyway, great thoughts, great thoughts. Uh, what do you think, Stephen? What do you wanna, what can you add to that? Why do you enter? Um, mine started, I started off as a newspaper guy and uh, then I went and worked for myself and I had the MPPA uh clip contest and when i was working for myself there was nothing that could do that and when i came apart actually 
the contest is partly what brought me to UPA in the first place. When I was even a freelancer, I was a associate member and I was competing in personal vision. Uh, but that it, it just gave me a way to sort of judge myself and see other work. That's one thing I really love about the Mick is that I get to see what everybody else is doing around campus when I judge. And, and I use that as to, Oh, wow, this, this is really cool. And what in, in the winners I went through and, and use that is when we have a science, uh, when we were recreating our research look, I'm like, here, look at all the sample of all these people that have been winning in, in UPAA and, and using that as an example to jump stuff off of with our team. Were you showing your own photos then? Is that what you were saying? <laughs> I, I, honestly, I, I was shooting all of them, uh, of them on Duno. <laughs> I just gave him his portfolio. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I know. I, so that was, I, I, I use that and to be able to see everybody's work, I love watching it and, and uh, really studying. I, I can't tell you the difference between any of the great photographers other than Ansel Adams was nature and I can't even say the other names. Um, then there's the white background. What's his name? Richard Abaddon. Yeah, yeah, see, but I can tell you a Kendra picture I can tell you a Nate picture when I see, I can tell you Manduno, I can tell you um, all these other people because I've watched our, our, the people's style and studied enough, especially at being a representative of exactly what we do. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, 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 love the, I love that thought of using the monthly image competition as a resource, right? I think, I think it's one of the benefits too of now, if you're not entering, um, I guess I, I ask and we ask that you please do uh, um, because one, it just gives us good ideas. It helps us to see more broadly what everybody's doing, whether you think the image is going to win or not. Well, one, I have my own thoughts about that. Like, is, did you put your best effort into it? And if not, like, that's probably a good opportunity to start putting more effort into certain images. So you do feel like you can enter it in if it is a regular standard portrait you're taking on campus i don't even know if everyone remembers uh when stephen gave his presentation and there's a girl that i don't know if she was a if she was graduating or whatever it was and then you said hey do you mind if i just take another picture i want to try something new and uh beautiful shot beautiful shot but it's you know we're just pushing the envelope a little bit and doing a little bit more for for us as well um and and nick and jay if you guys have stuff that you want to comment to or anybody else uh who's here if there's certain insights and things that help you with the monthly image competition like please feel free to chime in put in the chat i'd say raise your hand but i don't know how that feature really works well i would say i mean when i know when we started this the the major impetus was not even so much of a competition um was the idea of people being able to see each other's work in some sort of organized fashion. Um, and that seemed to work really well. I mean, obviously we, it, and it really, really made our website and frankly, the organization take off because as Stephen, like this literally was a draw, one of the draws, you know, to, for him, um, the feedback that we've had on all the surveys that we've done concerning the uh, MIC is that uh, people find it a very, very uh, valuable part of their sort of membership dues. Um, they find that that's one of the great benefits they like uh, of being members of UPA. And this is how we sort of keep in, in touch with everybody, you know, over the course of the year. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I put stuff in and, um, you know, I'm not, not really expecting to win on stuff like that. But again, just kind of getting like maybe some little bit of feedback sometimes. Um, that's one of the reasons we liked. I think one of the things that we're going forward is going to have so that everybody gets some sort of an idea of what their quote score is. Because, yeah, the differences between the various like second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth is usually very, very minor. It's actually scary how close a lot of these things are actually scored next to one another. Um, and, um, yeah, we're trying to use the, the same sort of it, it definitely mirrors the APC, the uh, you know, the print competition, which is now, you know, the photo competition that we have online, it mirrors that so that everybody's sort of acclimated in terms of how to vote and how to kind of judge things in the categories. We try to make them as, as similar as possible. We've had to tweak that. One of the big changes is having a student category, 
we frankly didn't have enough students before to make that a worthwhile competition. Well, that's changed. And we've and if you've looked through that, it's really pretty impressive what some of the student photographers come up with. I mean, really good stuff. So um, yeah, we've tweaked this. And then this is the kind of this is exactly the time and a forum like this and the survey to get an idea of tweaking things, like making things a little bit more, I guess, uh, you know, easy to understand. People always seem to have questions about what fits into a particular category, you know? Um, so we, we try to make things as, explain it as well as we can. So everybody's sort of on the same page with that. Yeah, thanks, Nick. And I would, I would say, if you guys have not taken the survey yet, we'll talk a little bit about the survey later, but if you haven't taken it yet, uh, your feedback in those surveys, I think, are vital, right? This is an opportunity for us as a membership to give our voice of what things we love, what things we want to change, how thing, how we feel like things could work better. Like this is this is our opportunity. Um, really interesting. There's only so far. I think there's only 29 people that took the survey out of the whole membership of UPAA. That's a really small um, sample size. And it seems like the only people who actually participated in the survey were ones who enter the monthly image competition. But well, one of the interesting things and very, very important, I like the fact that people say that they, they do vote when they don't have images in the competition. And I find that that participation is really important. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know, I mean, the results obviously with a larger sample size are always gonna be more accurate and I think more fair. There's no two ways about it. I, yeah. I will also, I wanna add sort of, and it piggybacks on what Nate said earlier, talking about other features, encouraging everybody to enter, but I really encourage everybody to vote because that's yeah. when you see all the images that are in right. there. Because I, I've been through lots of competitions, through lots of different things, and you don't always agree with what the judges pick, but that way you can see all the other stuff. It's not, you're not just getting the top five, you see everything. And that's where I find just as much value as entering as I do uh, judging. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and we'll talk about that too. I wanna, I wanna ask you guys in just a little bit, the, the, the benefits that you feel voting brings. Um, but it's, it's huge. Yeah. Uh, voting, I think, um, well, I mean, we could talk about it right now. We might as well. Uh, let's talk about what does voting bring to you? What value does voting bring? Now it's, imp I think, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Nick, when we vote, your votes only count if you vote for everything. Is that correct? I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to okay. say that with a smile. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. okay. You really right. should vote on everything. I will say that one of the things over the years that we have tweaked and put quite a bit of money into is making voting as easy and as efficient as possible. The original module, I mean, you really had to prompt it to go to the next image. I mean, um, the images were like a fixed size. You know, I mean, the images are much bigger. I mean, what you're seeing now is a lot, we went through a lot of growing pains to get to the point where making it efficient as possible. And that's one of the reasons that we've keeping it to four images, because when you have too many images, people were complaining that it just takes too much time. It's too much of a hassle for me to go and do this. When we originally did this, I think the original module, you had to sit there and go through the entire voting process in one fell swoop. You couldn't like come back after lunch and then pick up where you left off. Yeah. So you know, things like that, that we've improved to make it again, as user friendly as possible, exactly so we can get as much participation as possible. It's a benefit to everybody with the more people that participate. Yeah, and one thing that was mentioned as well, that I think will really help the voting process is, is the images will be randomized. So it doesn't matter when you enter them, like if you do it, the hour before so your image is in a certain place in the voting process so there's no voting fatigue by the end when your image actually you know there will be a new randomized um order which i think will be great wonderful a lot of people didn't even realize that that was an issue that's interesting a lot of people sometimes um know more about the mic and 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 
how to work it than than you think on on some level. But I I know that I, one of the things that's good about that actually I think it's a benefit to everybody to not have all your images coming at once one after yep. another. It's actually better for you to have them sort of spread out, frankly. Right. You know? Yeah, great. Amanda, Stephen, what are your thoughts on the voting process? You mentioned a little bit already, but what benefit does it bring when you vote for the images? I think seeing all the work really is is the biggest benefit, in, in my opinion. Um, you're seeing everything that everybody else is doing. And um, I know in the past I've, you know, sparked ideas from other people's work. Um, I know other people have have done that too, and sometimes we can see each other's work reflected and in, in things we've seen. Um, yeah, I really think that's you know one of the one of the biggest benefits, and just getting to know other people's work too is is really great. Kind of like Stephen was saying, um, you get to know other people's style. So yeah, there was a there was an interesting. So I don't know if any of you go. I think it's Keith Carter. He's more of a fine art photographer. Um, anyway, he came when I was a student, he came and spoke to us and we had kind of like a workshop with him and, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Keith Garter. Anyway, so one of the things there, there was, I can't remember. I wasn't at this particular lecture when he said it, it was, it was just repeated to me, but I thought it was fascinating. He said, or he wanted to take a specific photo and I guess it's a photo that, you know, many people have taken before. And so somebody was, I don't know if somebody was kind of talking to him and saying, well, that photo has already been done like a hundred times. And his comment was, but I haven't done it. Like I haven't done it. Like I haven't added my own, you know, my own, I don't know, what am I trying to say? Flavor is not the right word, but in? yeah, I haven't added my own spin to it and I haven't experienced it. I haven't tried it out. And so I don't I mean, it's not like our images are all going side by side and it's not that we're copying people, but I love when I see something in the competition and like, oh, that is cool. And I have experience over here too. So I wonder what would happen if I combined those elements. Like, that, that's, I don't know. I think that that's a, that's a huge benefit, I think, of the competition is just getting ideas. Uh, yeah. Steve, what are your thoughts? No, that, that's exactly, it, it just did out everything. I mean, I, I love just to watch everybody else's work. And again, also watch the work. It's the same stuff we're doing. A lot of us have the same events that we cover every year in and out. Uh, we, and we all cover graduation and we all cover this. We all cover, it, it, it's, we, it's all applies to what we do. Yeah, I remember uh, confession time and the uh, failure time. So, so you guys are familiar with, Stevens, what was it? Was it the best of show image this year? The the T, the Tennessee. Yeah. Tea? Yeah. So I remember after seeing that, because we do our new student orientation, we do a big Y in the football stadium. I'm like, I want to try something like that. And so afterwards I tried it and I tried to to have them like all leave in a certain way. It was the biggest failure that I like <laughs> <laughs> it did, it did not turn out and it did not look anything like Steven's picture. Do you appreciated that picture even more then? Absolutely. 100%. But I loved the idea. And I'm like, I want to see if I can do something like that. Cause that, I mean, I had never seen that before thought about that. And so I love being able to see people's thought processes, whether it's accidental in the moment or intentional and just to, you know, just to spark different ideas. So I love that. Any other thoughts? Okay, so let's move on. Next question. And we talked a little bit about this already, but how do you choose what to enter? Like, what's your process um, when you're out shooting? Do you intentionally shoot for the monthly image competition? Or are your images just a byproduct of going out and just trying to get whatever? Um, Amanda, you talked about getting feedback, excuse me, on your images. What, what are your processes through entering? How do you know which photos to enter and what categories? And there's like 20 questions I probably threw at you. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I think we've covered some of that, but that's a whole lot <laughs> to cover. Yeah. Um, but I'll say that I don't, I don't specifically plan shoots like for the Mick, but 
as some particular ideas come in or assignments come in, there might be a thought sparked that's like, you know, we could do something really cool with this that could, you know, end up in the mic. And then maybe I'll spend a little extra time and effort on that. Um, but other than that, it's just whatever it is that that I've shot, um, you, you know, that I like for that month. And we did talk about, you know, we show things to each other. Um, some months I'm entering at the last minute, like I'm sure some of you do. And in, in that instance, I'm just pulling what I like. <laughs> um, what other questions were in there? <laughs> um, so I guess it was about feedback, knowing which categories you want to oh, enter. Oh, categories. Into. Yeah. Um, I mean, categories are kind of, there, there are the rules, but then they also are sort of open to interpretation a bit. Um, and I know there's always a lot of talk around that. So yeah, this is kind of from a board member. So <laughs> I'm just, I'm um, just, just saying, just saying, I mean, I've had discussions with, with people about things like after a competition and they're like, you know, if you would have put that and this, then I wouldn't have won this. And you, you know, so it's, there really is some overlap in some areas. Um, yeah, but the main sure. part is, yeah, the main thing is like, if you manipulate something, like if you Photoshop things in a photo, then it goes into, um, the photo illustrations, um, in general features. So that is, I mean, it's easy to make those choices sometimes because if something is clearly manipulated, it needs to go in that category. Um, but yeah, otherwise just read the rules. If you have questions, maybe you ask other members who have been around for a while and um, have opinions about, about that. Um, because I have heard that if people think your photo's in the wrong category, they might not um, judge it as kindly um so it's important to think about those things and and consider where you're going to put it and why yep yep exactly steven what about you what are, what's your process of of entering i have a long process um so i know one thing that it started after the symposium and at grand valley what was that 19 i came back and i made a board or I just happened to have a board and I didn't know what to do with it. And so I started putting, putting, printing pictures that I shot as the month went along and I could put them up there and it would let me know where I'm at and how far I was pushing myself. What it was just my favorites. It would hold nine images. Now, some months I would take one to the side if I felt like I was having a really good month, but I tried to keep it to those nine. Um, and again, that, that helped me push that helped, co-workers come in and look at it and I get feedback from it my boss loves it I've sort of decided I was thinking about taking it down this year and I had some is a dry erase board and I had some writing up there and my boss was like what where's your picture we, we just can't go to text so um and, and even within that one of the things that I always try to do and this is also pushing myself and my staff has said that they love it because as the mic pushes me they get better results so one thing that I hate to do, unless I absolutely just have a bad month or have a really good month in one thing, I try not to put more than one image per category. Mm -hmm. So I, I can find that way. Usually it's more feature and news because in my stuff is assignments um, or I might be on an assignment and say, here, let me grab this portrait because I, I need a portrait for the month. Then see how I can push that to bring something else from the assignment. Uh, but yeah, I, because if I got to compete against everybody else plus myself, that's less of a chance to win. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, good, good insights, good thoughts. And uh, it's, it, I'll, I'll be honest, at least for myself, I would be lying if I didn't say that sometimes when I'm on shoots that the monthly image competition is on my mind. Right. And I think there's a benefit to that in a way where it pushes me to do more um, where I like, honestly, I wish that I was just more self-motivated inside and my natural 
instinct was, I'm just going to give this photo shoot my 100% best and go out of the box. But uh, I'm, I'm not that way most of the time. Um, so yeah, it's it, it can be a motivation. Absolutely. I think, and this is just personal opinion, I think the concern is sometimes um, maybe where it's like, okay, all of these assignments, I'm I'm going out and I'm just photographing this just for the monthly image competition when it's not really part of your work and and trying to make your department, you know, you're fulfilling your assignments and, and kind of working for your university or your school. Uh, instead, it feels like you're more working for the monthly image competition. Uh, you're working anyway, any for yourself. Other... You're working ahead, for next. yourself. I mean, the uh, the way to always approach this, you know, I know people that they just have a little folder, they put aside images during the course of the month that they think are good, and that, that's what they will go through to uh, decide what they want to do. But really, I think everybody should, you know, when you get to that point where you want to enter these things, you're doing it kind of for yourself. This is part of you as an artist to sort of, you know, you know, give it, give it some of your oomph, you know, share your oomph with other people, you know, yeah. and um, it, put it on your schedule. I mean, you have to make time for yourself in general for mental health. This is one of those things that you should do, frankly. Yeah, I like that. And that's kind of a, that's a process that I do as well with regards to pulling images throughout the month. I have a folder where I keep my favorite images. And so after I'm done with the shoot and I get edits done, I'll go back through that shoot. And if there's two, three, one, zero images that I like from that shoot, I will pull them over or copy them over into that particular folder. So, you know, when it's time to do the monthly image competition or the year end competition, I already have all my favorite images in one location and I don't have to go looking for, try to remember uh, what shoots did I do that I really liked. I, everything's already together. And that's something that really helps me to already have my images uh, pulled to the side. All right, any other comments, questions? All right, so let's see. What other questions did I have written down? Well, one thing I do want to say is, at least with regards to the benefit of the monthly image competition, and I know we talked about this a little bit of our presentation at the symposium, but this is a huge opportunity for myself and Jaron to sit down with our students, and we go through the images with our students and we talk about them, we analyze them, we try to figure out like, hey, how did they do this? How did they like this? Um, and it's such a great learning opportunity for myself and Jaron and our students to sit down, see the work that you guys are doing and learn from it. Um, and so I hope that we're using this. I, I love what I think, Nick, what you were saying earlier, how it, it started is more just an opportunity for everyone to get together and see each other's images. And uh, yeah, we didn't really even have a prize for this. I mean, this was literally, I mean, the APC was literally the photographer of the year. All of that was literally based solely upon how you did with like six, six images in that print competition that we would have, you know, actual prints on the wall. I mean, this yeah. is going far back. I mean, this is like old technology now, but I'm just saying... So um, and then over the year, we've incorporated this um, again because of members feedback. They wanted it to factor in to, you know, photographer of the year and things like that and also have prizes. I mean, again, you know, we didn't really have anything. I think we used to send out maybe uh, like little um, CF card wallets was about the extent of what we would do for a best of show uh, for the MIC back in the day. So, I mean, that has gotten a much, much more a prestigious uh you know, recognition for that particular competition. Yeah. But yeah, originally yeah. it was just a way for us to sort of, you know, see each other's work. That really was the main impetus to, to run this in the beginning. And I, and I love that. And I hope that we still kind of approach it that way um, where let's just get together and see each other's work. Now, yeah, it's nice to have the validation, right? If you win and you know that other people like your work and it's validating that, oh yeah, like maybe this image really is, as good as I thought, or maybe this image isn't near as good as I thought it was going that I thought it was. Um, so that that immediate feedback, and for those who don't know, when you log into 
your account on UPAA, you can go to your competitions, your entries, and as you hover over your images, it will tell you, it'll give you a number like five out of 36 or you know, 17 out of 23, whatever it is. And it gives you feedback on how your image did in that, in that particular category. And so that's a great way to get feedback on, um, you know, I thought my image was a lot better than it was. But some of us get 32 out of 38. We get some of those. Those are like pretty uh, kind of really hit you hard sometimes. But yeah, it's good feedback nonetheless. Yeah, it's it, great feedback, good learning opportunities. Um, in a way, so one thing that I tell our students when we when we go over images and we critique, I try to we try to go over the process of critiquing what it is, why it's there. And uh, so our end goal, obviously, I feel like all of our end goal is to be a better photographer. And so if that's the case, would we not be open to any feedback that we can get to help us progress? And I think the monthly image competition is part of that feedback that we can get to progress as a photographer. Okay, well, this image didn't place as well as I was hoping it was going through. I thought that it should, well, why not? And then if you need to reach out to people, ask for feedback. I think feedback is, is vital for progression um, as a photographer. And I hope that we use the monthly image competition more than just a competition. The competition's fun and it's nice, but I think it's much bigger than that. I think it's a great opportunity to see other people's work get feedback and learn how we can do better, get good ideas. I, I, um, to to yeah. expand on that and sort of going back with a process of entering, because that was a, a long thing. I have a couple of people that I will send stuff to, to get feedback. Um, and, and this for other members and or students, the worst thing I, it, I hate when I get feedback is, the mom on the fridge oh this is nice here let me put it up here for everybody to see <laughs> you need to find somebody that's going to be honest with you when when you do that I, you're not going to hurt my feelings like you said sometimes we have attachments to it and i may be like oh well yeah you're right or hey we'll agree to disagree on this one um so yes find find that person i've had the same thing i've had some people send different images to me and say what i think. and i as somebody that doesn't have a view it or a, a attachment to it i'll tell them what i think and, and also there's one thing that i've spoke with joe for all of y'all that know, remember joe Howell, we'll send stuff back and forth he's one of the main ones and we'll send it to each other and look at it and respond it's solid it's great it's great for your university it's just a good but that what you produce but do you want to try to push yourself or more so just to get more out of each other yeah, I love that. I love that. And for those who uh, didn't know Joe, or, or I think Joe was one who was usually at the top of that board too. So it's really cool to see, you know, Joe and Steven who are competing right against right. each other, but they're there to support each other and push each other and help each other to do better. I love that. Um, and yeah, you also brought up a good point, Stephen, with feedback as well. Um, we need to not be afraid to give it, right? If So as a photographer, I want to be better. And so hopefully I'm open to any feedback that I can get to do that. Now, as you mentioned too, a lot of it, well, all of it is opinion, right? So we have to filter through that and see where we, where we agree or disagree. Um, but then on the other side, when we're trying to help others and critiquing others, we need to give constructive feedback and not be afraid to say ways that we really think that they can improve or it's just, yeah. Or like you said, it's just like hanging a picture on a fridge. This is great. Yeah. We, uh, one of the things we tell our students, the one thing I do not want to hear is I like this image or I don't like this image. If you say that you better follow it up with why. Um, so anyway, so with that in mind, uh, let's talk about the voting process kind of how you go through the voting process, what you know, what you feel you're looking for in a good photo and a bad photo. And do you have any feedback to things that you have seen consistently in the image competition? Any constructive feedback that you can give? Who 
I'll, I'll say whenever I look, uh, there's two main things. First, photography is a recording of light. No matter what camera you have, whether it's a four by five or the newest mirrorless, it's still the recording of light. Um, so I'm always looking for good light. Uh, along with that is emotion. How much does the photograph make me feel? And if you can put the two of those together, you got a home run. Um, as in things I see in the contest, uh, I see a lot of reflect. That seems to be something that if you do that, that it's people love, whether it's good or bad. Um, plenty of post-processing, putting stuff in front of your camera. That's something I've picked up and I've tried to learn how to do. And nobody does it quite like Manduno. I feel like he's the most copied photographer in the group because <laughs> I can see somebody's trying to be Manduno there. Um, <laughs> and, and a lot of times it's me. But um, yeah, uh, and I hope I'm saying his name right. Speaking of that earlier, I don't, I'm not real good at that. But yeah, that's... Hey, Matt. I'll just stay Matt. Yeah, Matt. Hope you're uh, watching, Matt, wherever you are. Do so, other people yeah. like message him as much as I do? Like, how did you do that? What is that? I've done that to him quite a few times. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> no, I think that's great, though. I, I, I mean, I think that's using the competition for a huge benefit in learning from other people. Like, oh, my goodness. Like, I loved... Well, talking to Stephen, talking to you at the symposium about how you did that space helmet shot, I never would have thought like how how to have done that. I'm like, oh, that's awesome! So I love I love being able to learn from other people and how they how they took these different photos. Oh, great! Any other thoughts on uh, voting? What you're looking for? Feedback to those who are entering? Things that you see consistently? Uh, one one thing I'll mention with with the previous comments is that uh, we have a photographer out here named Josie Leppi. She uh, she's an alum. She worked for the San Jose Mercury News for a number of years, and she's now back getting her MFA. And I heard her t telling students once, the images you're looking for are those in between moments. You know, we we get those moments that we all see and we record them. You know, we shoot them, but then there's those in in between moments that it's that spark that that brightening of the eyes that you know that extra something something that rises that photo up and makes it special yeah love it love it great feedback i think like from a technical perspective when you're looking through and voting if there's something that doesn't look like it was processed quite right like it has a color cast or you know it doesn't have enough saturation or contrast it sticks out it'll kind of jump out at you in like not a great way um so that's something i would i would just recommend especially to to newcomers who haven't seen a whole bunch of competitions yet um just kind of look and see what other people are doing um and not copy but you know just kind of see if your imagery is going to pop out in a in a not great way um and like years and years ago i i got a tip from another UPA air um, about saturation, which is just kind of random, but um, he said like to get the right amount of saturation, take your slider like too far and then start like bringing it back until, you know, it, it not, it's just a little bit under too far. Um, and I started doing that and it, it really does make um, a lot of difference because I think some people can take it way too far and some people don't touch it at all. So that's that's kind of just my random random thoughts. Um, I know we've talked to some people have talked about um, actual like when you're looking at voting, some people will just leave the photos as thumbnails and go down and vote on them that way. Um, and that's not necessarily the greatest way to vote because you're really not seeing the photo up close. So sometimes what I'll do is just scan down them as thumbnails and see what kind of jumps out at me. But then I will go through them also one by one um, and vote on them. So if anyone has questions about voting or like the different views of voting, uh, let me know and I can show, I can bring that up and show if anyone wants that or needs that. Yeah, and I think one thing for me too, and I'm trying to remember exactly the, the process, but 
when you're just viewing the images that are entered and not actually voting in the voting section. So it's all about ease for me, right? So, and I can't remember if this is correct or not, but I think I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard to go through the images and it goes through much faster. And so I can look at them full size and look at them in detail. And then when I go to vote, I already know, I already have kind of a feel of what those images are full sized, right? Um, don't quote me on that. It's been a little while since I've been in there. So uh, I don't remember if that's, but something along those lines have been part of my process. Um, but yeah, another thing I appreciate Amanda bringing up, something consistent that I see a lot is our post-processing. There's a lot of images that just look super, super flat, um, almost that they haven't been touched at all, where, man, if you just gave it a little bit of contrast or um, like Amanda was saying, just a little bit more vibrance or saturation um, or, or maybe just cropping a little bit differently because there's a lot of other distracting elements in the frame, um, that, that would go really, really far. Because I'll, I'll be honest, when I see images with poor post-processing, it they usually get a lower a lower vote for me. Um, yeah. Any other uh, any other thoughts or feedback? We got a we're getting close to time, aren't we? Questions or questions? Yeah, or questions. If if not, we'll 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 move on to some thoughts on the on the survey um, from what we have so far. But are there any other questions thoughts? Anybody wants to share? Anybody got gripes with the MIC? Don't open that up, geez. <laughs> we'll be, we'll be here another hour. If you do, hey, the survey is a great place to go to right. put those in and offer your suggestions. Um, but I asked Amanda, do you have, you want to kind of give us some thoughts on the survey that you saw? and uh, any kind of feedback that way that, that would be constructive for us? Um, yeah, I just kind of looked through and did like a summary of the questions so I can kind of read through some of that. Um, yeah. And if you have any comments, I know you guys looked at it as well, some of you. So, um, but yeah, only 29 people took the survey. So far, and so far. So far, so take the survey after this. Um, <laughs> and 21 said they regularly enter and eight said they enter occasionally. So we don't have any respondents that never enter, um, which is interesting. It would be nice to hear why they don't enter. Um, so, and yeah. so if you don't enter, please go take the survey and tell us why. Yes, like, well, tell us uh, why you don't enter. Yeah. Tell, tell, tell the board why, tell the membership why. So we can understand if there's things that we can change that, that can change or make things better or, or be more welcoming for you to vote or to enter. Um, yeah, let, that feedback's vital. Yeah. Um, and then one interesting thing, um, and Nate brought this up actually, two thirds of the people who took the survey skipped the question about why they don't enter often. So that's kind of, it's just interesting. And the majority um, said that they don't think they had worthy images and that's why yeah. they don't um, enter. So like, that's an interesting thing we could talk about is, why don't you think your images are worthy or I don't know, you know, you can always just put them in there. It's not going to hurt anything. Pick your, your best, maybe one from the month or something and just get a feel for um, entering and seeing, you know, where things rank. Um, does anyone else have any thoughts on that? I think that we often might be surprised um, with, sometimes we're pretty hard on ourselves and we're yeah. in a, we're in a society where we like to compare ourselves to others quite a bit, um, where we feel like our best isn't good enough, probably. So I think, uh, I think a lot of times we'd be surprised how, uh, how our images would um, hold up in that competition. Uh, so I'll just, just give it a try um, and, right. and speak for feedback and opportunities to improve. It'd be great to see more variety too. I mean, we see a lot of the same people's photos over and over and they're amazing, but if, you know, if we can see more people's work, all the better. Like, like, like the lottery, you can't win if you don't enter. Just FYI. Oh. Um, and also there's been a lot of pictures I've had that 
when it came down to my last one. I had my like my favorites, but here this very end, uh, and it's like I don't think, but here let me enter it, and then it got first. And I think even uh, Fred's on here. I think that's happened with some of his best show before, right? I, I, so, Probably, yeah. most likely. Hey, you know, I was thinking about this a little bit, and I think, um, um, you know, for photographers who, you know, maybe are early on in their career, you know, so they're still learning or developing, I think they like love seeing the work, but it's also sort of hard when it's like, okay, my work isn't quite there consistently, you know, they have the occasional like, oh, I love this picture but it's not there every month for them. And I think so when they don't win as often, you know, they might start the year entering, but then as the year goes on, they sort of fall off. And it seems like, like the final six months of Mick, you see much fewer, I don't, I don't know the actual numbers, but the pool of photographers I suspect goes way down. And then the folks who are like, okay, in the top echelon, I think they're like, okay, got to enter. But the other folks are kind of maybe more hit or miss. And so this is just a random idea. I don't know if it's a good one, but what if um, you had a random draw for like a think tank or some sponsored gift out of the people who didn't win? So it's like, okay, every month, <laughs> someone who entered but didn't win gets a prize or something like that. I don't know, just throwing out ideas. Yeah, no, no that's an interesting idea. Yeah, good feedback. And if you guys have any more of those kinds of feedback, again, the survey is a great place to put them. <laughs> so another another plug for that. Did you take the survey already? You asking Fred? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I okay. thought it was really well done. A lot of good questions on there. Yeah. Not, not to put you on the spot in front of everybody. Right? <laughs> well, yeah. I was going to say, if he didn't, please do it and put that in there so that yeah. it's all like together. But if yeah. he already I'm did, I'm going to make it and, you know, put it in my own notes here. So, <laughs> yeah, I, right. Now, you know, I think that the thing about it is um, it's, it's like as photographers, I don't know, for me, it's like, I love pictures. I love, love looking at pictures. And so um I don't know if they're, you know, and so the one thing about the, the contest is that, you know, you kind of have to step through and rank it and go through. And I don't know whether there's a way to create an online gallery of the, I don't know, just to, to kind of, this is a bad idea, I'm thinking out loud, but to, so people can easily see the work later, you know, after judging is over, just an idea. <laughs> Great, great. I know you. I know you can go back and look at um, look at photos from the competition. But um, any other any other thoughts, comments before we end this thing? Um, Amanda, do you have anything else in the, from the survey that you wanted to bring up? Um, I have like the whole thing summarized here, but let me see. But while you're thinking, one thing, or yeah, one thing I thought was really great feedback was that and we talked about this a little bit earlier one that you don't either vote for yourself or you don't vote for your institution which mm -hmm. if that's the case right then i'm not going to be able to compete with steven anymore so that's the main reason we load up our <laughs> students right is just so me and, and jerry can get more points um so so my score is going to go down if that's implemented you heard it here it. folks and it was recorded <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so just looking through i the end of the survey got really interesting um just seeing how people responded about like should the photographer photographer of the year be its own competition and it was like 45 percent said yes 35 percent said no um and then should it be decided by a panel or by membership um and i think the one that really kind of i don't know it's all kind of all over the place is should the mic rankings play into whether one can compete in a standalone poy competition and the results were kind of like all over on that one 
So that's just something to kind of think about. And if you have thoughts on those kinds of things, let us know in the survey, um, because we do talk about that every single year. We talk about how the MIC weighs into the POI and should it, and should the POI be something different? So though we definitely think about that all the time. Um, and if you have thoughts and comments, please um, put them in there. We did have the standalone POI. That was the old, um, you know, annual print competition. That was that was it. That's how that was decided. Six prints and see how how you would do with that and call it a day. And there was a lot of pushback on that once we got the mic going. And why can't we incorporate this into the thing? So um, I, I personally think it works really well. Some people say that oh, well, you kind of know where the winners are at the end of the year. You know, I mean, to be quite honest with you, I mean, it, even if it was a standalone, I think that the cream of the crop is going to rise to the top anyway. So I, these are the kind of things that people kind of can hem and haw over. But um, yeah, th this is the kind of you know feedback that we want. And again, um, I always think it's, again, I, and I think what the biggest thing we can take away from this is that the participation and seeing what people are doing and getting some feedback is really the best part of this. It's great to win. I, I would not take that away from it. But you know what? Most of us are not going to quote win or be in the top five. But um, we're all photographers and we're all trying to do our jobs better. And, you know, really in terms of us uh, advancing as as artists, um, I think it's, it's invaluable that we participate in this. I have one more one more takeaway here. Um, yeah. So the publications competition, um, only one respondent said that they enter that every year. Um, 30% occasionally enter and 65 said they never enter. So the publications competition is, it's a little bit different and, you know, it, it's a little bit before um, the APC and stuff, but it's interesting. Why, why aren't more people entering it? Um, I think it's a really good way to kind of show off more than just your own work because it's your work incorporated with, you know, your designer's work and um, your writer's work and stuff like that. Um, so I, I think that if you have thoughts on the publication side of things, if you can put that into the survey, because we're trying to figure out what's going on with that and, and what we should do with it going forward. So um, that's, that's just a, a place where you could have a big impact right now with your, your thoughts and opinions. Yeah, great. Love it. Uh, one last thing before, one thing I thought was really interesting feedback wise was not just having a tally of points for the winners in the monthly image competition, but everybody's points get tallied throughout the whole competition. And maybe that, maybe that motivates people to enter more because they can see kind of where, where they are, where if they're not in the top five or six, I have no idea because there's no points applied. Anyway, great thoughts. Please uh, take the survey, give more feedback. Um, if you have any other thoughts and, and comments on uh, the monthly image competition, then let's, uh, let's talk about it. Reach out to people, uh, get feedback. Uh, use this as a tool to become a better photographer. I think that's the main point of it. Again, the competition is great, right? It's fun and it can be validating. But I think the greatest benefit from this competition is just seeing what everybody's doing and using that as a tool just to become better. Uh, so thanks everybody for coming. I think it was great. And just for the record, we don't have our students vote for us, right? I'm not gonna compromise <laughs> on that. Well, I don't we wanna know. compromise it on anything, but- We but know. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you guys. You're awesome. It's good to see everyone again. And uh, we'll see you later. Good luck on the beginning of school. Thank you, Nate. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Don't be snurster. Bye-bye, everyone. Classes tomorrow. <laughs>